everyone, this is Danielle Delfanian, independent designer number 5726 with Origami Owl. I just wanted to do a quick video for not only for my team, but for anyone who is looking for a method to remove the background on their photos. I had come across this really cool website called clippingmagic.com and it makes it really easy to remove the backgrounds from your photos. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So first thing you're going to do is go to clippingmagic.com. Now I've been on this website a few times already so I already have some photos that it'll, it'll store some of the images that you've, you've done in here. But we're going to go ahead and start brand new. So the first thing I can do is either drag and drop my, the file, the image that I'm hoping to remove the background from, or I can click choose file. And I'm going to start off with this one right here. And it's going to go ahead and load it and have it all ready for you. So the first thing, I've got some options up here at the top. Screen just a little bit. I have my little red tool. What this is going to do is anything that you color red, that's not going to appear in your image. That The program is going to remove that from your, from your picture. The green one here is going to select the part of the image that you would like to still remain on um, in the picture. So I'm going to go ahead and I, and I usually start with kind of removing what I know that I am not going to want in the picture. And I just kind of do a little circle-y thing. And now I'm going to grab my little green plus sign tool. And I just want this cute minion guy in my picture. And as you can see over on the right hand side, my little picture is starting to, to kind of come clear and it's showing me what part of the image is going to actually show. Now, because this yellow color does carry up to the top, the, the program thinks that, oh, you must want this too, but I don't. And it's really nice, I have these nice zoom tools up here. So I can zoom in just a little bit and I can go back to my little red tool and I can just kind of cross a little bit of that out of what I don't want. And it's really neat because the image just automatically adjusts. I can see over here on the right side that there's a little bit of the top of him missing. So I'm going to grab my green tool. Now this little tool that I have here might be a little bit big. So I can go up here where it has the pixels and I can actually adjust that and change the size of the brush. I can change the size of that tool. So I can make it really teeny. I don't know if you can even see it there. I can make it really small and I just made a quick little dot and it did that for me. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit to make sure that all of the parts that I want are in here. I think that looks pretty good. I think maybe just a little bit up here you can see that maybe is kind of part of the background. So I'm going to trim that down just a hair. Otherwise, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom out. That looks pretty awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and click the download button. And it's going to go ahead and reformat everything. I can go ahead and there's a link that we'll have so I can send the link to people and give them the file. Or I can click download. And now when I download these, usually I believe they format them in um, PNG files, which are really nice because that means the background is just clear. But I can go ahead and open it and it will um, show me everything. But I want to show you one more thing. What I like to do with my images a lot is I go to a website called PicMonkey. I love this website. This is one of my favorites. So I want to design a really cute square picture. So I'm going to go ahead and just click square. And there's a really neat tool in here. Now this is a great free program where you can add um, text to things, you can adjust the colors, you can add pictures, all sorts of different really neat um, features. I, my favorite tool is right here, this butterfly, and that's called the overlay tool. So I can click right on that. And there's a lot of different fun shapes and everything and things that you can use for free in here. Um, there is a pro account as well that gives you access to anything with a little crown on it. But there's a lot of great things available in the free account as well. 
but I can click right here on overlays from your own and I'm going to go let's see where did my minion file go there he is I'm gonna click right on that and when I insert this it's really nice so he just kind of comes here and I can resize him I can do whatever I want um, but I'm going to come back up here and I'm just going to show you something. I can change the background color. And as you can see, I think I, hang on. Let's get rid of this dude. I think I added the wrong one here. There we go. That's the one that I just edited. So now I can change my background color. And since I edited him in Clipping Magic, it took the background away, and so now he can just kind of float here. So let's see, Despicable Me colors, nice bright orange. And I can select the color, and I just click Apply. Let's make him a little bit bigger. I want him to really be the feature here. Now, I have a friend who is making this for me. I'm so excited. So um, I'm already kind of... Um, thinking ahead to what I'm going to do with my little minion, but I know when she took the picture, he didn't have an eye, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to give him an eye. I'm going to come right back to my overlay option, I'm going to geometric, and we're going to go with a circle. And we're going to go ahead, and once I click on that, it puts it right in my picture. And I'm just going to size that down just a little bit. And we're maybe even going to fade, we can fade it out just a little bit just to make sure it's not too dark and kind of blends in with the picture just a little bit. Now our little dude has an eyeball. And I think I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make just a thank you picture for her because I'm so excited for this. So I can go ahead and the way you add text is you just click this little T thing. That's our text tool. We have a ton of really great fonts. Again, the ones with the little crowns, so that's part of the paid membership, but there's still a ton in here. Um, that are really great to use. One of my favorite ones is this Potsam one. So I can click my font and add text. And it adds a text box, a text box for us. I'm going to double click. And I'm going to go ahead and start typing whatever I'd like to add here. And then once I have my text there, I can highlight it. Yeah, I've got the text bar over a little so you can see that. I can make it bigger, make it smaller. I can change the, the size here as well. I can also go ahead and center all of the text, which is what I want to do. And I'm going to make that just a little bit bigger. And then I think I'd like a border on this. So I'm going to go ahead over here on the left side. There's a border or a frame tool. And I love the museum mat. So I'm going to pick that. And you can change the thickness of it. And then you can change the outer color, which here would be the black, or the inner color, which here is the white. And Spickle Me colors are, well, the minions are blue and yellow. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of a play on that. And let me see if I can go. And then we can go ahead and apply that. I feel like, like how that looks. And I really like how that's turned out so far, but I want to show you just one more thing. I'm going to show you one more thing with the, the overlays. So if I come into my little butterfly and I go into your own, I'm going to go back to that original image that I had selected that did have that big white square. Now, if you have an image that you haven't gone to Clipping Magic, you haven't taken the background out, there's a really neat tool in the overlay option. It has blend modes. And if you click over here and you click darken, it will actually take that background out. Now, if I were on a white background, 
the colors would be showing up normal, but because I did change the background, um, it's showing up as orange. But as you can kind of see, all these little different um, blend modes, they, they change how the picture looks. So some of them um, are really cool, some of them aren't exactly what I'm, I'm looking for. So I, I don't like this image, so I'm going to go ahead and just click on it. I can right click and click delete. But I'm going to go ahead and move this guy just a little bit and just kind of finish finish this up so I can send this off to Liz since I'm so excited um, about my minion dude. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I want to make a couple more. So I can click on him. And I'm going to duplicate him. And I'm going to go one more. And put one more over here. And do the same thing with the eyeball. Let's go ahead and just do that twice. And he'll be all sorts of adorable. And then once I have everything the way I like, I can just come right up to the top. And I just click save or I could share it. You can change the different quality um, of your picture. Um, I always like to save them as um, PNG files. That's just, just usually what I usually do. You can either choose to rename it um, kind of while um, your knuckle plexer there um, is, is loading. Or, or you could do it after you do save to my computer. And I'm going to go ahead and just save that. And now I have my finished, um, my masterpiece is saved. So that gives you a really quick overview um, of, a, of what you can do with Clipping Magic and what you can do with PicMonkey. So I will have more videos coming soon on how to um, use some more of these features, but I hope this helps you create some fantastic images. Thanks for watching. Bye.